The mirrorless camera world is buzzing with excitement, and for good reason. Massive leaks surrounding the upcoming Nikon Z9 II, expected to be the direct successor to the Z9, have hit the internet, and if even half of them are true, this camera could shake up the industry in a major way. We're not just talking about a modest refresh with small tweaks. From what insiders and leaked reports are suggesting, Nikon is preparing a bold leap forward in both photography and videography performance. With whispers of 8K at up to 60 frames per second, 4K recording at an astonishing 240 frames per second, RED cinema technology integration, a fully articulating screen, lighter construction, and even 5G connectivity, the Z9 II is shaping up to be Nikon's most ambitious professional mirrorless camera yet. But beyond the raw specs, what really stands out is the direction Nikon seems to be heading. The Z9 II feels less like an iterative step and more like a statement of intent, a message to Canon, Sony, and the rest of the industry that Nikon is here to compete at the very top level. Let's break down everything that's been leaked so far and what it might mean for creators, professionals, and the future of Nikon's flagship lineup. One of the standout rumors is that the Nikon Z9 II won't just look like a slightly tweaked Z9, it's expected to come with noticeable physical upgrades. Perhaps the most exciting for many photographers and content creators is the switch to a fully articulating LCD screen. For years, Nikon has stuck to a tilting screen on its high-end models, which was fine for traditional photography but frustrating for vloggers, filmmakers, and hybrid shooters. With the Z9 II, Nikon is finally listening to feedback. The new articulating screen should allow far greater flexibility when framing shots, especially for self-recording, low-angle work, or unusual compositions. Another important change is in the body construction. Leaks suggest that Nikon will be moving to a lighter magnesium alloy frame, reducing overall weight without sacrificing durability. This could be a huge deal for sports and wildlife shooters who often spend long hours with heavy telephoto lens. Shaving off even a few hundred grams makes a noticeable difference over the course of a day. At the same time, Nikon is expected to maintain the rugged, weather-sealed design that professionals have come to rely on. Taken together, these physical improvements send a clear signal. Nikon is no longer building cameras just for traditional stills photographers. The Z9 II looks designed to appeal equally to filmmakers, content creators, and hybrid shooters who need versatility and comfort in real-world scenarios. At the heart of the Nikon Z9 II will reportedly be a completely redesigned 45-megapixel stacked full-frame CMOS sensor. While the resolution matches the Z9, insiders emphasize that this isn't just a recycled sensor. Instead, it's a ground-up rebuild, promising cleaner performance at high ISOs, better dynamic range, and significantly faster readout speeds. The stacked sensor design will be paired with Nikon's new Xpeed 8 image processor, which is being described as the company's most advanced processing engine yet. This duo should provide the horsepower necessary to handle not only demanding still photography needs, like ultra-fast burst shooting, but also the extreme video specs Nikon is rumored to be targeting. Heat management has been a big question mark for high-resolution cameras pushing 8K video. Previous models across brands have struggled with overheating, sometimes shutting down after just a few minutes, Nikon appears to be addressing this head-on with the Z9 II, optimizing the sensor and processor pairing to maintain stability during long 8K or high frame rate sessions. If Nikon pulls this off, it could immediately give the Z9 II a competitive edge over rivals that still face thermal limitations. This is where the leaks really start to get jaw-dropping. The Nikon Z9 II is rumored to deliver 8K video recording at 24, 25, 30, and even 60 frames per second, giving filmmakers tremendous flexibility for cinematic production. But the real headline is the 4K at 240 frames per second capability. That kind of ultra-slow motion recording has, until now, been largely reserved for dedicated cinema cameras costing tens of thousands of dollars. With the Z9 II, Nikon seems determined to bring that power into a compact, mirrorless form factor. For action filmmakers, sports videographers, and creative storytellers, 
4K slash 240 FPS unlocks a completely new level of visual storytelling. Whether it's capturing a sprinter at full speed or creating dramatic cinematic sequences with breathtaking detail, equally important is that the Z92 is expected to offer 10-bit internal recording, ensuring professional-grade color depth and flexibility without the need for bulky external recorders. This will allow filmmakers to maintain a streamlined setup while still capturing footage with plenty of room for grading in post-production. Perhaps the most surprising leak of all is the claim that the Z92 will integrate RED cinema technology. After Nikon's acquisition of RED in 2024, many speculated about how quickly that expertise would find its way into Nikon's cameras. Now it looks like the Z92 could be the first mirrorless flagship to benefit. While details are scarce, the integration could mean anything from advanced video codecs to color science improvements or even specialized compression technologies that RED has pioneered. For filmmakers, this is huge. It suggests Nikon is no longer satisfied playing catch-up in video specs. They want to bring cinema-grade tools directly into their flagship mirrorless line. The autofocus on the Nikon Z9 was already considered excellent, but the Z9 II is expected to push things even further with advanced AI-driven subject and object recognition. Enhanced tracking will reportedly allow the camera to lock onto faces, eyes, animals, vehicles, and more with even greater precision and reliability. For professionals, this could be a game-changer. Wildlife photographers will have an easier time capturing fast-moving animals, sports shooters will benefit from razor-sharp tracking of athletes, and filmmakers can trust the autofocus to keep subjects in focus even in unpredictable environments. Combined with faster readout speeds from the new stacked sensor, the Z92's autofocus could rival or surpass Sony's much-praised tracking systems. Of course, all of these ambitious upgrades come at a cost. According to leaks, the Nikon Z92 will be priced around $5,999, which is a full $1,000 more than the launch price of the Z9. This positions it squarely against heavy hitters like the Canon EOS R1 and the upcoming Sony E1 Mark II, both of which are expected to dominate the high-end mirrorless market. As for timing, the Z92 is rumored to be announced in October or November 2025, with shipping to begin in early 2026. While the wait may be frustrating for some, the longer development timeline suggests Nikon is taking the time to get things right, rather than rushing an unfinished product to market. The Nikon Z92 isn't shaping up to be just another incremental update. It looks like a bold statement from Nikon about where professional mirrorless cameras are heading. With 8K 60p, 4K 240p, RED cinema integration, AI autofocus, 5G, and a fully articulating screen, Nikon is aiming directly at the needs of today's hybrid creators. At $5,999, it won't be cheap, but for professionals who need cutting-edge tools, it may be worth every penny. Whether it redefines the industry or simply raises the bar, one thing is clear. The Nikon Z92 is the camera everyone will be talking about in late 2025.